Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Welcome back to another Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Show and Shine video. My name is Trevor Ursulescu, owner of Monster Hobbies Online, and today I've got a special treat as we look at my dad's classic 125th scale Johan 1931 Cadillac V16 Sport Phaeton. So without further ado, let's check out the history of this amazing model car. The Cadillac V16 was Cadillac's top-of-the-line model from its January 1930 launch until 1940. The V16 powered car was the first in the United States, both extremely expensive and exclusive, with every chassis being custom finished to order. Only 4,076 were constructed in its 11-year run, with the majority built in its debut year before the Great Depression took strong hold on Cadillac sales. The onset of World War II reduced the sales of the Cadillac V16, resulting in its demise in 1940. The Cadillac V16 was distinguished by its pioneering V16 engine, a narrow 45-degree V-angle overhead valve series 452, displacing 452 cubic inches. Upon its introduction, the new car attracted rave reviews from the press and huge public attention. By June 1930, 2,000 cars were produced. The Fleetwood catalog for the 1930 V16 included 10 basic body styles and some 30 different designers' drawings. Orders dropped drastically due to the Great Depression, and for 1931 with only 7 made in August and 6 in November for a total of 13, but for the year, 750 of this amazing automobile were produced. The engine is the 452 cubic inch displacement Cadillac V16 engine, and the transmission is the 3 speed synchro mesh manual. The wheelbase on the 1931 Cadillac V16 is 148 inches which is equal to 5.92 inches in 125th scale. The length of our Cadillac is 222.5 inches in the real world and 8.9 inches in 125th scale. The width of the real car is 73.6 inches which in 125th scale equals 2.944 inches. The height of the car is 72.5 inches which in 125th scale is 2.9 inches. And the real curb weight of our 1931 Cadillac V16 Sport Phaeton is 5,300 pounds to 6,600 pounds. This model kit was released by Johan in 1965 and came out again in the mid-1970s. There have been no further releases. Here are the other cars in the series. All of the Johan 125th scale assembly kits of the classic V16 1931 Cadillac have bodies by Fleetwood. The original release of this model kit was part of the Gold Cup series. It includes over 160 parts, has steerable wheels, all plastic assembly, exact scale model, molded in various colors, and includes an interlocking parts tray. This is the exclusive frame pack showing how each plastic tree interlocks and fits inside the box. The hood on our 1931 Cadillac V16 Sport Phaeton is actually removable so that we can see the engine underneath. This model car features posable front steering, your choice of the folded up top or the folded down boot. Now here's my personal story of this 1931 V16 Cadillac Sports Phaeton. I inherited this model from my father and it was in a very damaged condition. The front axle was broken on the curved section of the I-beam right near the turning wheels. The tie rod was also broken on the connecting pin on one side. All the linkages were off. In order to fix the damage on that front axle, I had to remove it from the springs using my number 16 hobby blade. I had to use my micro drill to drill two holes, 
one in the top of the main axle and one on the kingpin end. I pinned the holes together using a section from a staple and testers glue. To fix a missing tie rod pin, I used brass rod. I drilled a hole in the center of the tie rod and pushed the brass rod through, cutting it to length afterwards. After I had the front suspension fixed and I was ready to film the model, I had this sitting on my desk and it accidentally rolled backwards off the desk and landed upside down on its roof. And it broke all these little posts out on my Landau irons and removed the front windshield. So I had to glue that all back together and now here's the model all fixed and ready to look at. My father used the building techniques and styles of the time period to build this model, which included the plastic fenders, the blue plastic on the body and the wheels, red paint into the wheel center caps, as well as the taillights and license plate, testers flat tan on the roof, and gloss black for the interior features, and the testers gloss blue on the hood and pinstripes. Here I added a pair of figures into our Johan 1931 Cadillac V16 Sport Phaeton. And this is the Henry Ford figure that's in the ICM kit. I believe he's 124th scale. And here we have the 125th scale figure from the 1932 AMT Chrysler. So you can see just how well they fit in. I could have put him in the front seat, but I didn't want to accidentally break off that steering wheel. I've had enough problems with this model breaking. Here is the instruction sheet showing the assembly of our amazing Cadillac 452 cubic inch V16 engine with the three-speed synchromesh manual transmission. Here is our engine from the driver's side of the car showing the wonderful chrome valve covers as well as our exhaust manifold and updraft carburetor. And on the passenger side, our engine block looks very similar. We also have the chrome valve covers, the updraft carburetor intake manifold, and exhaust manifold. Here we have our interior gauges for our Cadillac, including the gauges in the back for the passengers, which would be a clock and potentially a speedometer. And then in here, we also have our front bench seat, as well as all the instruments on the dashboard, the steering wheel, our floor pedals, and our gear shift lever. And looking at the interior from this angle, we can see that my dad chose to use the black plastic for both the front and rear seat. Now, if you do require a passenger for the car and you want the top up, the only figure that actually does fit is the secondary character from the AMT 1932 Chrysler kit. He is sloping forward enough just so that the top doesn't hit him. Whereas the other figure I showed before, his cap actually holds up the top of the roof. Here we have the undercarriage of our 1931 Cadillac V16 Sport Phaeton. And we can see that it's also got the covered leaf springs in the front. And then there's the oil pan for our gigantic V16 engine, as well as the transmission and the starter motor back here. There's our exhaust pipes and mufflers. Here we have the torque tube rear axle with the manual brake levers in the back as well as these radius rods coming out here and here. Again, the rear axle is covered with those oil type covers that they used to use. Leather with oil packed inside, oil and grease. And then we also have our exhaust tips in the back. Now there are some linkages in here for the steering. And like I was saying, this axle was cracked right in here. And so was a little pin from the tie rod end that was missing. So I had to drill in here and use a staple in order to fill in the gaps between the holes and glue that in and hold it very steady. In order to do that, I had to break the axle off the springs. All the linkages fell out with this. I also had to drill in the little pin in here and then rehook this all up in here just in order to get this all to steer. Here's a close-up view of the front suspension assembly. And not only did I have to fix the axle that was broken in here with the pins, but I also had to drill the hole in for this little pin here on our tie rod. All of this is operational, both in the steering, so you can see how complex this is 
in swinging the tie rod as well as this control arm and the little pitman arm up here that goes in and out. All this had to be connected together and the wheels also rotate in this direction so that the car can roll along. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this look at my dad's 125th scale 1931 Cadillac V16 Sports Phaeton by Joe Han. Now, one thing I really want to try to do in the future is build a museum that showcases all the model cars and other model kits that I have here in my own personal collection, as well as my dad's collection. Something I want to do is make a diorama with a whole bunch of people, you know, interacting with these great model cars and maybe in a great scene like uh, perhaps some rich person's place or maybe down by the lake or something like that. I think that would be a really cool diorama. And if that sort of thing interests you, would you mind please supporting me on this channel? For as little as $3 a month, just click that join button and those proceeds can go towards building this museum in the future. Now, if you like model car kits and want to buy a few from us, check us out at www.monster-hobbies.ca where you will see our collection of available model cars. We can ship those into Canada, the United States, and anywhere around the world. We use Canada Post. It's nice, safe, and secure. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. And if you want to see a really cool video, check out this one coming up next. You can subscribe and this button, and you can go to our online store with this button down here. So until next time, everybody, I wish you really well with your model car projects. Oh, and one other thing, if you do click that join button, you will get your name in the end credits coming up next. So until next time, everybody, happy model building, and thanks again for watching and supporting us.